welcome to Decorating with Barbara. Today, I'm going to be sharing a spring table stick. I'm also going to be participating in a collaboration with two other YouTubers, Chanel from Angelic Interior Design, and Mimi from Creating with Mimi. Okay, so before I get into the tablescape, I'm going to head over to Pottery Barn to look at their spring collection. And if I see something, I'll share it with you and then we will decorate. So I'm back home. Now let me show you what I picked up for the tablescape. Okay guys, so I was able to pick up a few items from Pottery Barn and I stopped in Home Goods as well. So I know Pottery Barn can be a little expensive at times, but you can go in and find things on sale. I was looking for something in a soft pink. I really wanted something a little brighter than these napkins, but I did come across these napkins and they're in like a mauve color. Um, I thought they were really pretty. They did have them set on the table in one of their displays and they had it uh, with some of the other pinks and I thought that looked pretty good together mixing different shades of pink and so that's what I did for my tablescape as well and so you may have noticed all the beautiful flowers that they had around their showroom and so I was drawn to this pink one here because they also had this on the display table with these napkins and I thought it looked really pretty it was soft and I thought it would look nice in my dining room. So it was a little pricey, so I picked up one and I wanted to check Home Goods to see if I can find something similar. And so that's when I found these two. And it here there's three in a bundle for $14.99. And then the one here at Pottery Barn was $17.99. 
and I think they're a pretty good match. Not exactly, but pretty close. So I think I'm going to take the one back to Pottery Barn and use the ones here from Home Goods. And so they also had a lot of pretty flowers in glass containers and they were just simple but very elegantly placed in the container so I stopped by Walmart and found these and so guys I wanted to let you know that Walmart has all of their pretty flowers like this for 97 cents and so that beats the Dollar Tree which is now a dollar 25 Okay, so one of my favorite things about Pottery Barn's flowers are their long stems, but they are very pricey. So once again, I headed over to Home Goods to see what I can find, and I found two stems here, and I think they were $12.99, and I just love that soft pink color, and so I picked those up for the tablescape. And if I'm not mistaken, I do believe their long stem flowers range somewhere between $60 to $70, or maybe more. When she told me the price, I tried to block it out of my mind because, yeah, I knew I was not paying that price. So I just, I love to look at them and I love to get the ideas, but I do like to go and see if I can find something comparable. Okay, so in another display, I noticed these candle holders. And they had it set up really pretty with this fern. And so I liked the display and I thought, hmm, that could be a centerpiece. But when I brought it home, the fern was just a little bit too large for my liking. So instead of adding the green plant, I added some green moss to the bottom of the candle holder. And so I also picked up these two candle holders from Home Goods. So the last new item that I picked up for the tablescape were these pretty beads from Hobby Lobby. And they were on the 50% off sale for the tabletop last week. Now these little cups here I already owned, but they are from Pottery Barn. And they're actually tea light holders and I use them all the time during the holidays or whenever but today I'm using them for my little planters and I just have some green moss inside a few succulents and yeah that's that's it I only have two of this style and two of this one so I'm going to mix them which is perfectly okay but um, yeah I thought they would be very pretty to use as the accent on the for my little flower pots and they are accented with a little bit of gold and it looks like a little bit of gray so yeah i thought those were perfect for the table so let's go ahead and get this tablescape set up i am calling this my springtime garden pretty in pink so if you guys know me you know I'm allergic to color, <laughs> but I think this pink makes a pretty statement for a springtime tablescape. So I'm using this pretty runner that I used last year, and I like it because it has the neutral background, but then it has a little bit of color on each end. Thank you. 
So let's see how it all turned out. Pretty in pink. Perfect for any springtime brunch or luncheon. Okay guys, so don't forget to go over to the other lady's channel and if you are new here, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you. I upload videos twice a week and I have lots of spring videos to come. Thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next one.